Women currently account for around one-fifth of the workforce across the oil and gas sector, with an even smaller fraction working in technical posts. Attracting and retaining the female workforce also poses many challenges, but WPC believes that greater gender diversity is a worthwhile and attainable goal. So how can oil and gas companies tap into this critical pool of talent and potential? Robin Ross reports. The oil and gas industry still has a macho image, men in the oil fields. But with half the population of the world women, companies are missing out on an untapped reserve. A new report by the World Petroleum Council and the Boston Consulting Group shows men still dominate, with just one in five employees a woman. And out of those one in five women, most work in administration roles rather than technical. Women feel that they're not given the same access to job opportunities in the industry. Secondly, they feel that they don't get the same support from senior management as men do. And thirdly, there's also an element of not feeling confident enough to ask for those positions. Researchers spoke to 2,000 male and female employees, carried out 60 face-to-face -face interviews with senior executives, and gathered data from 38 companies. They discovered as time goes by, many women fall off the career ladder. The big drop is between middle management and top level positions where the percentage drops from 25 to 17 percent. It's perhaps because the career progression isn't equal and hasn't been equal for a while. So a lot of the women probably haven't got the field experience or perhaps some of the technical experience that some of the male colleagues have had. And also I think it's, it's often seen as a a sort of an old boys club or a men's club and they perhaps don't get the sponsorship that other people do to get to the top. Uh, next time you have an opening for a job, very interesting job, career supporting job, somewhere out in Angola or Nigeria, Kazakhstan, Alaska, please ask the talented women on your team as well if they would want to take it and don't assume that they won't. Great female role models do exist and CEOs are key to changing the perception of women. If a CEO doesn't care about gender diversity, then only a third of men think it's important. But if the CEO does care, then 86% of men care too. Women can be less risk-taking, often better, better at team working. You get a diversity of, of ideas. And as my wife tells me, women are better moderators as well. The goal is to increase the number of women in the industry to 35% over the next five years at all levels. Members of WPC are already doing more to keep and attract women. The CEO of Saudi Aramco has written to everybody in the company to encourage them to involve more women and promote more women. Uh, in Hungary, Mole are financially supporting female graduates through university. In the United States, Exxon are having engineering days to attract, to attract young girls into the industry. In Austria, OMV have their Technic Princess programme for 14 to 16 year olds. So we have many members doing lots of things in this area. The supply of oil is a hot topic, but what about the supply of talent? The WPC's Future Leaders Forum is bringing more women onto the stage, encouraging companies to include them in STEM programmes so they can take on the jobs of tomorrow. Obtaining gender balance is critical for the industry. And it is critical because there is a very high percentage of persons that are above 50 years old that are going to retire in the coming years. At government level, you need to encourage governments to promote science and technology more to, to young women at schools and get people really interested and keen on science at an early age. The research will continue and WPC will use it to help companies create more opportunities for women. Women actually are more flexible than men think. You just need to ask them. And on the other hand, uh, men are much more supportive than women think. You just need to ask them.